Ah, uh, Muribuanji. That is a greeting. How are you? Uh, Malawi is awaiting people like you who can come to Malawi and uh, do the ministry work. Maybe my speech is going to be more or less like uh, come over to Macedonia and help us. Uh, my dear brother Dale Matthews is going to tell you what is my name. <laughs> uh, you may wonder, am I trying to hide my name? No, no, no. No, but he will say more about my name. So, uh, thank you so much for sending him to Malawi. Because I know some of you watching this, uh, you have contributed to his going to Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Every time you go to Malawi, you are told you are going to the warm heart of Africa. And now I am pastoring Holy Dwelling Place Church, and uh, this church is one of those churches that has the vision to plant more churches. There is a, a, a sad story to so many churches, especially in Africa, where uh, so many people are contented with the way their church is built, and the way the members are coming or flocking into those churches, sometimes it's because of these other prosperity messages that people are preaching. But with the Holy Dwelling Place, we have the vision to go out and plant churches and train disciples, especially in my case, I am burdened. The Lord has placed a burden on me that I should train church leaders and I should also plant churches. It is very easy in Malawi to plant a church. You can plant even four, five, six churches uh, uh, in a day or in a week. You can plant those many churches. But now to find some strong leaders who can lead these churches, that's a big problem. So uh, I just want to share with you a little bit of how we came together I came together with Jimmy. Uh, I met Jimmy May uh, in 19, somewhere 1998. And then we were at a crusade organized by International Crusade. Today they call it International Commission. So when we met and uh, then uh, we served the Lord together for two weeks and then he went back to the United States. And then later on, I think a year or so later, he wrote me and said, Booker, I would love to come to Malawi, but I don't know what I can do. So I wrote him back, I said, I have plenty of work to do if you come to Malawi. Well, praise God, he brought in a team, and uh, there were about 12 people that he brought in. And so I said, Jim, we are going to plant six churches using those 12 people. So the 12 people were divided into two, into twos. The thing is, each team of two uh, Americans with the two Malawians, uh, I had already surveyed some sites. So I sent them to those two sites, I mean to, in twos, uh, to those sites. They went into those sites and uh, for a week, they were at that place, and for your information, by the end of those two weeks, well, it was only 10 days, I could say, but let's say two weeks. At the end of 10 days, six churches were planted, mm -hmm. and the Holy Dwelling was one of the six churches that were planted. I'm talking of now churches that are standing. I'm talking now of churches that are strong. And that was uh, 2004 when Jimmy came to Malawi uh, to plant these churches. So I am inviting you. You may be the only person willing to come to Malawi. You can plant one church. You may not be willing to plant a church, but you may feel, well, I really need to train leaders. That's also what is upon my heart. I wish I could find some people like you watching this 
uh, video. Please come off to Malawi and I will organize the leaders and you will train the leaders. If you want to train pastors only, I will organize pastors. If you want to train both pastors and other deacons, elders, other leaders, I will organize those people. If you want to train uh, so many of those churches, then I will be grouping two churches at one place, and then you train them, two churches or four churches at one place, uh, depending on the locality where these churches are located. And so, uh, when you come back to Malawi, or when you come to Malawi for the first time, there's a lot of things that you will do. Nobody comes to Malawi and work with me and sits idle. Unless you want to rest that day, I say, okay, <laughs> you have a day to rest. But all the days that you are in Malawi, I can put you to work. <laughs> so come over to Malawi. I'm looking forward to people like you.